Hey, it's truck. Or, his tractor broke down today. I think we're in a continual state of something breaking down. Hi. Boo. Did you get it? Yeah. How much was it? $24. Oh, that's not bad. Four gaskets and a little piece of plastic, so I think the price pretty high. Yeah. I'm ready for lunch. I bet. Oh, I finally finished a book. This one's called Daddy's Little Girl by Ma Mary Higgins Clark. This is a good mystery book if you like mysteries, murder mysteries, that kind of stuff. This is really good. Very clean. There was not a lot of stuff in it. It was just more of an investigation type thing. When I was little, I would read lots of mysteries. Like when I was in middle school, I would read all the mystery books. I'd read the murder mysteries. Aunt Ro got me on to... Um, I think you're Sue Grafton, that kind of stuff. Loved it always. And here recently, well in college I really cut back on my reading because I was reading for school so I didn't read as much for fun. And so after I got out of college, I've started reading again, but I've read more, um, what would be the word? I feel like I've read more nonfiction than, than fiction stuff. And so, I don't know, over, this book should have taken me like a week, maybe two to read. Like this is not, it's not a long book. It's an easy read. Um, and it's gripping, like, you know, but I found myself not wanting to read it. <laughs> and I think, I think that my taste has just changed. Like, I don't like the feeling that I get when I read this. Like I get kind of worked up when I, when I read a book like this. And, uh, I don't know. It's just, I mean, like, I think I'd rather read a biography, like a calm, not crazy biography. Um, I feel like I want a happy book, <laughs> not about murder, so I chase it after you. I don't know. Anyway, it's just an interesting thing because I've always, I've always read this kind of book. Um, but I think, I think my tastes are changing. So I gotta find another book to read. I got a whole stack though to choose from. I've been collecting, so we're gonna find something else to read. We're out here tonight filming. I got to go to the log yard tonight. I've never done that at night. So got all my stuff on, which is cool. I was sad because I had these pictures that I was gonna have to scan. I was like, I know that on iPhone they have like a scan function on notes. It is so fast and it is so good. Why would you ever scan anything ever again? My gosh, it is so fast. So it's on notes, you can look up how to do it, it's really easy. This is the first harvest of the chives. First lightning bug of the year. Oh, I don't know. It sounds like there's something like moving around in your gutter almost. I don't know anything I, I just see. But at the movies? You think? I mean, uh, I, we... I'm going to that wedding tomorrow. Oh, okay. Sorry. All right, so Dad and me are actually attending a wedding tonight. Yeah, it's weird. Have we attended? Uh, it's rarely we're together at a wedding. <laughs> <laughs> we're always together at weddings, but is it, I feel like this is, is this the first wedding we've attended since we started shooting them? Probably is. Yeah, we normally only shoot them, but anyway. I just brought my little camera and did not bring a big one. I am not the videographer or the photographer. Yes. Just Just a guest. <laughs>
Yo, I'm glad I wore my boots that I'm okay with throwing away. They said they could go outside. They literally just said it. They just said everybody go outside. Bad. Um, that's good. Do you want a picture? Okay, hold on. We're out. Yep, that's a good idea. Different sound with spin. It's 10 o'clock. I can't help it. I'm not, I'm not saying anything. It's fine. You know, I don't care.